reshooting episodes is probably my most hated thing to do because when an episode goes really, really well and I film it, or at least I think I film it, I, like I don't remember what I said. I'm usually riffing. And this episode that I already shot was riffing really well and it was short and concise and I spoke well and I didn't stutter and I wasn't filming. I hit the filming button when I thought I was not recording. So we're reshooting this, but this is so fun. But welcome back to the Off My Meds pod. Today's episode is dedicated and for all of my ADHD people, my dopamine chasers, my adrenaline junkies, my attention deficit babies. I'm going to be sharing my top five tips that I have used to help my ADHD in the last two years, last year or two. Some of these are actually pretty recent. If you are new here, hi, my name is Jennifer Ted Mori. I am a former child actor turned lawyer. Now I kind of do both. It's a long story, but I was diagnosed at an early age with ADHD, diagnosed and have sought treatment for since. I have done just about every treatment or procedure or medication you can think of to treat ADHD. I've done hypnotherapy, I've done neurofeedback, biofeedback, I've seen therapists, I've talked to hypnotherapists, astrologers, I've taken natural and pharmaceutical drugs my entire life. So I think I'm fairly equipped to be speaking on this matter. However, do not rely on me for any sort of medical diagnosis. Everything that I'm mentioning in here is not something that you just consult your fucking doctor. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna make that statement. Consult your doctor. But most of this stuff is natural if they are supplements. This is for my ADHD and non ADHDers. I think anybody that doesn't necessarily have ADHD, but maybe has anxiety could benefit from, I think all of the supplements and things that I, I mentioned. So there are some tips for you as well. And if you're thinking to yourself, Jen, I'm broke. I'm probably not gonna be able to afford anything that you're going to recommend. Most of these that I'm going to be recommending are fairly low cost. Three out of the five things are free. So I wanted to at least share some of my experiences. Now, these are not things that will necessarily naturally make your ADHD completely go away, but these definitely help. I cannot, <laughs> I try to have consistency with these things that I do, I am far from perfect. I do not follow these regimens every day, but I come, I've come pretty close with some of these. And I think it's in our nature as people with ADHD to, I don't wanna use the term self-sabotage, but some, sometimes consistency with these things that help us are, probably the most impossible things to accomplish. I struggled a lot with taking natural supplements and having a, a regimen about it, but I can promise you that if you dedicate at least two weeks for anything that I mentioned herein about, spe about specifically supplements, they will probably massively change your life. And so I'm just gonna jump into it. The first one, is something that I cannot live without in my day-to-day -day work life. It has also massively helped me with my sleep and that is binaural beats. What are binaural beats, you ask? I am not Andrew Huberman, so you might wanna consult him, but my understanding of binaural beats is that it is essentially two different wave frequencies and an audio phenomenon occurs where your brain makes a third and so depending on which frequencies are played together, they can have many different health benefits for your mental health. They can be used for relaxation, meditation, focus, sleep. There's ones even dedicated to having certain REM cycles. And most of these you can find and are easily accepta acceptable, accessible via YouTube or Spotify. 
There are so many playlists out there. And I, like I have ones that I listen to that are eight hours long. I'm somebody that has to listen to music all the time or have noise going on all the time. And so music is just a, a, on the little bit too distracting side for me. And so this offers a nice sound that I just put directly into my air, directly into my earbuds and listen to throughout the day and they massively change the way my brain works. Like I can feel when I'm listening to a focus one. I used to listen to white noise and pink noise in law school and to study for the bar. I didn't know what binaural beats were until a year or two ago. And once I switched over to the binaural beats, it massively improved my mood. It helped me focus and I can't really read without these. So that's the first one. What did I... The second thing I wanted to recommend is something that if you watched my interview with Bill Cott, it is the vitamin, the gummy that Bill took while during that podcast interview and within 20 minutes felt immediately more calm. This is the, this is the product that I was talking about and that is L-theanine. L-theanine is an amino acid that is... Oh, this is where I'm going to pull up what I had. I'm just going to read what I had because I'm, I'm, no, I'm, not, I'm not the chemist here. L-theanine is an amino acid in green tea, has been shown to affect brain functions by relieving stress disorders, improving mood, and maintaining normal sleep. I don't know what they put in this stuff. I have a gummy that I just get from Amazon. This is not sponsored at all. And I will include a link below. But anytime I'm feeling like I just have a lot of chatter happening that I need something to just maybe just like take a little bit of the edge off, this does it. And I don't know why, I don't know how. My therapist recommended this to me and it has massively helped my anxiety. It is not just, it's not a quick fix. It's not something that helps long term, but in the moment, if you need something to bring yourself back down a little bit, it, these things are unbelievable. And they're all natural. So that was number two. Number three is something that, it's one of those things that I fight tooth and nail on a daily basis and I'm getting better about it. I'm getting better about it. We're halfway through this journal, but it is journaling. And some people call it journaling. I kind of learned about it through it being morning pages, which is from, I'll include the book here. But essentially what it is, is part of my morning routine or my attempted morning routine is that I write at least three pages in the morning of literally whatever. And the hardest part for me as somebody that's an overthinker, as somebody who's a perfectionist, as somebody whose creativity was a little bit stifled by law school with her writing, it is something that massively helps me to just write whatever I'm feeling. And even if I hear the words blah, 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 blah in my brain, and that's all I can seem to muster up from a pen to a paper, that's what I write for three pages. It's three pages of, of whatever. Now I know Andrew Huberman came out with a study and it was a specific writing prompt. Do that. I haven't tried that one. And maybe I should try that one and then make it a whole podcast about my experience with that because I just discovered that. I think he made that post like a, a week ago. But journaling, writing in general, getting all that trash from my, from my night's sleep and all those thoughts and like negative thoughts and subconscious thoughts, I just get it out on paper. And my those days that I do journal go massively, massively better. So I just need to do it more consistently. I think that, don't we all feel that way? We just need to do it a little more consistently. The fourth thing is something that helps me massively with my sleep. I hate melatonin. I hate, hate, hate melatonin. This product has a tiny bit, like not even enough for me to tell, but melatonin makes me groggy. I can't, I can't it's like taking NyQuil for me. I just, in any dosage, melatonin just feel like ruins my productivity the next day because I'm always tired and fatigued. But this chewable, has changed my sleeping ability. Going through a bunch of trauma, my sleep, 
and being on and off medications my whole life has like really messed up my nervous system, which in turn has really affected my sleep. This helps me go to sleep naturally. It is a natural chewable. There's a little bit of melatonin, but it's like GABA. There's L-theanine in there, vitamin B6. And it just gives me a nice little, it makes me just the right amount of sleepy and I'm able to get a good night's sleep and I do not wake up feeling groggy. So that is the Brain MD put my brain to sleep naturally. No, Brain MD put me to sleep naturally. And the final thing that I use and that has helped me massively with my ADHD is something that I have fought tooth and nail my entire life. Regardless of how much it benefits me, I literally will find any excuse to do anything other than this activity. So when you hear me say it, please do not cringe because I know how you feel. However, I will say doing this and being more consistent about it and kind of working my way up to it has changed my brain forever. And you know, in the last two years of me kind of healing and working with my therapist and figuring out all these deep seated issues that I've had um, solely deeply embedded in my subconscious that I didn't even realize I was doing these things and I had these bad habits. Meditation is the one thing that has helped me reverse the way that those subconscious thoughts are programmed. And again, I need to bring the expert on to talk about the reasons why this helps. And I know there's plenty out there, but it's meditation. And I've really developed a different relationship with meditation in the last year and a half. And now I look forward to it. And if you're already saying no to yourself, just give me two weeks of doing it for 60 seconds a day. You can start at a minute, start at five minutes, do whatever you're comfortable with. I'm somebody that hates sitting still. I'm somebody that regardless of the position that I'm sitting or laying in, I will my thoughts go thousand miles at an hour at all times. This is something that just aligns me, it centers me. Everybody around me says I'm much more pleasant to be around when I'm meditating, which is a humbling thing to hear, but it's definitely meditation. So if this is, if you're struggling to accomplish your tasks or finish your tasks throughout the day, you're, you're struggling with fatigue or feeling exhausted, starting a path with meditation or at least deep breathing, especially for anxiety, can massively, massively help you. So that's the fifth. I've got five more, but I think we're just gonna start with that. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've done any of these and uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side.